Do you guys want to know how to push the top ladder and beat the hardest matchups with this deck? If so, this video is for you. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to Outplayed Iron, the channel that takes your game to the next level. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you two games from top 5 ladder and provide you guys general pro tips and matchup based tips that I've acquired from today's guest, I'm Legend. This 3 Musketeers deck has stormed its way into the meta after balance changes and has arguably become the best deck to use in ladder and challenges to win. Make sure you watch the entire video as this video is packed with pro tips that will help you a lot with this deck. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video as I post Clash Royale content regularly. Let's get right into the pro tips. General tips. You need to play this slow and single elixir and be patient with this deck. You want to try to outcycle their spell against the pump so that you can use your pump to build a huge elixir advantage which is bound to overwhelm your opponent. During single elixir, try to pressure mostly with your royal ghost or bandit as you don't want to overcommit and lose the game before it even starts. Always remember that this is a heavy elixir deck which means that it tends to shine in double elixir. During double elixir, you can use your 3 musketeers more freely and this is a pro tip guys. Make sure you use your heal spread wisely to aid your double lane push so that they can't handle the split lane pressure. The e-barbs are a very strong card right now and can be used both on defense and offense. You want to use the e-barbs to support your split lane push with the 3 musketeers as this applies a lot more pressure and forces your opponent to misplay or spend elixir that they didn't want to spend. Let's look at the first hard matchup we're facing right now. It's against Expo. This is one of the hardest matchups that you can face with 3 Musketeers. Against Expo, you don't want to overcommit in single elixir and do anything extra as it will lose you the game instantly. You need to play this slow until double elixir. Make sure you don't spam your e-barbs, bandit or royal ghost unnecessarily. Make sure you start cycling pumps in this matchup and bait out his spell so that your 3 Musketeers can be played freely without worrying about his fireball or rocket. If he misplays or overcommits, try to sneak in a bandit or royal ghost to get some chip damage. Make sure you don't do anything major in terms of elixir and single elixir. In double elixir, you want to catch them off guard so that they won't fireball all your 3 musketeers and you can double lane pressure and use your heal spread smartly to heal your troops back to full HP. If you have enough elixir, for example in triple elixir, you can go in with e-barbs to support your traditional split lane push. If the e-barbs connect and they can't handle the split lane push, it's basically game over. A pro tip I want to share with you guys in this matchup is when they play the defensive expo, you want to try and ghost so that you can bait out their knight when they try to defend their expo. This in turn helps you attack as you can 3 musketeer and kill the knight and he won't have it for defense when you split lane push. This is a minute detail but these sort of tiny aspects or thinking is what separates a top 3 musketeer player like legend from the rest. As you can see, Legend baited out that knight with his ghost from his opponent when he was trying to save his defensive expo. This caused the two musketeers to snipe the knight. This makes it so much harder for his opponent to defend because he doesn't have the knight. His opponent is having a very hard time cycling and barely back gets back to a knight to save his tower. At this point, you just want to play it out slowly and make sure you defend properly. We have to keep our pushes going and make sure we cycle back to a lot of pumps and bait out his spell so that we can play our three musketeers freely. So right here we're just gonna ice golem and I think we're gonna cycle back to a pump. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. And um, that's gonna bait out a fireball. That's go gonna give us space to three musketeers freely at the back. He's gonna split two in the left and one at the right. Okay, let's see how he's gonna support this. All right, so he's gonna heal spread on our right. He's gonna support the two musketeers with the royal ghost. And right here, he's just gonna log. The opponent's not gonna make the same mistake by playing his knight to defend the royal ghost. This is brilliant on the left side as he uses his barbell and his heal spray to take care of the knight and heals his musketeers almost to max HP. This is going to allow his tower to go down to 264 guys. Right now we just, we just need to pressure and make sure we defend properly and we should have this game guys. So right here he's going to pressure, he's going to pressure with his royal ghost, he's, going, he's just going to defend with archers and the opponent decides to go with an offensive expo. Right here we're just going to barbell and use our e-barbs with our heal spray to make sure we take out that expo. We're going to use our bandit to pressure as well and we're going to just sp start spamming uh, cards at the bridge just to make sure we apply that pressure. He's going to defend with his knight but our royal ghost is going to take care of the knight. So right here we're going to split our three musketeers and he doesn't even react fast enough to fireball all three of them. So right here he's going to support the right side with e-barbs, a musketeer and an ice golem. That's going to put, put so much pressure he's going to defend with the knight and he can't even defend the left guys. So he's just going to start using his archers to kite the royal ghost and he's going to offensive expo so we have 25 seconds guys we're just going to make sure we defend this expo and make sure we don't give him damage because all we need to do is just defend properly and we should have this so we're just going to start defending with our bandit with our ice golem with our e-barbs everything in hand guys and we should have this game 
so 10 seconds there's not much the opponent can do right now and that's game guys so that's exactly how you want to play this really well played by legend and let's move on to the next matchup guys that i want to cover which is a very hard matchup the next matchup i want to cover is against mega knight triple spell with this matchup, you want to go opposite lane of the Mega Knight and double split lane push a lot and use your heal spread to heal your troops. Just make sure you don't give them a lot of value with their Mega Knight. When you build a massive push and they defend one lane with the Mega Knight, you want to instantly support the other lane as much as you can as they just invested 7 elixir on one single lane which means that they're a 3 elixir which is quite low to defend the other lane. Another pro tip with this deck and the reasoning behind pressing hard on the lane opposite to the Mega Knight is that you have your Ice Golem for 2 Elixir which will help you kite the Mega Knight very easily. Again with this matchup guys, you wanna play it slow and eventually start double lane pushing and overwhelm your opponent with a major Elixir advantage or a smart heal spread play or even pressing hard when you know he's low in Elixir. Let's look at this right here guys, we're attacking with our E-Barbs and he is gonna defend with the Mega Knight right here. So we wanna defend this Mega Knight and make sure that we don't take a lot of damage. So we're just gonna use our Ice Golem to the side so that the bandit doesn't connect it when we try to kite it. We're gonna Barbell here, we're gonna Royal Ghost as well. That's gonna completely clean that up and we're gonna use our bandit to clear that completely. Okay guys, he has to respond to our bandit and he has to do something about it. Otherwise the bandit's gonna get a lot of damage to his tower. He's gonna E-Wizard this and um, we're gonna defend this E-Wizard with our Heal Spirit and that's gonna negate most of the damage from the Wizard. So right here, we're just gonna wait this out till we're at 10 elixir and then we're gonna cycle cards at the back guys. So that's the plan. We just wanna play this out slowly and there is another 25 seconds um, to get into double elixir time. So we're just gonna ice golem at the back and um, we're gonna use our royal ghost to the back as well, right behind our elixir golem. He's gonna inferno dragon in the right. And um, let's see how he defends this push on the right. So we're just gonna just Cycle our barbell at the back. We're gonna cycle. Okay, we're gonna cycle our three musketeers all in the same lane, and he's gonna poison guys. So we're gonna make a very very smart play right here to heal that um, three musketeers barely to a little bit of health, and that's gonna help us clean that mega knight up. So we are gonna offensive bandit, and he has to respond by using his own bandit, and and um, his inferno dragon dragon doesn't connect for anything. We're gonna use our royal ghost here. And our Royal Ghost is going to attack and we're going to use our Elixir Collector to just uh, be out of spell. So that he, he can't poison the next time. So we're going to E-Barbs right here. He's going to poison our um, Elixir Collector. So that serves as bait and we can use our 3 Musketeers now freely. And he won't have any spell to take care of that. So right here we're going to split 2 in the right, 1 in the left. And we just have to make sure we defend those 2 Musketeers. And a brilliant kite here by Legend right here. And that's going to help us clean up that Mega Knight and Bandit guys. So we are gonna get a massive push on our right because we just healed our, our two Musketeers and our Bandit. He's gonna have to poison this. We're just gonna use our E-Barbs to pressure in the left. He has to defend both lanes guys. He doesn't know what to do. And right here we're just gonna win this because he just can't do anything guys. And that's how we win this guys. So this is very important. We just need to make sure we split lane pressure and defend our three Musketeers with this matchup. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.